Hello and welcome to Classroom Nation. I'm Andy and today we will be looking at volcanoes and in particular the different types of volcanoes that there are. There are four main types of volcanoes. The first is syndicone, the second shield, third composite aka strato and fourth lava dome. Just to start with I will give you a basic definition of what a volcano is before moving on to more detailed material. A volcano is an event that directly connects magma to the surface of the earth it is also described as a mountain or hill, typically conical, having a crater or vent through which rock fragments, hot vapor, and gases are being or have been erupted from the Earth's crust. The first type of volcano we shall look at is syndicone. This is one of the most common types of volcano. It is less dangerous compared to the other types. Syndicones only grow to about 1,000 to 1,200 feet tall. Syndicones are usually created from a single eruption when lava erupts, magma is thrown into the air, which cools into cinders. These fragmented cinders fall short distances from the opening, thus creating a cone. A classic example of this is the Paracutan in Mexico. Number two, shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes can be very big in size. However, they are not as dangerous as their size might make it seem. This is because the eruption of lava out of a shield volcano is not accompanied by pyroclastic material. For example, there is no bursts of gases and particulates. Shield volcanoes can be very tall, but they tend to be very broad, with less steep slopes than other volcanoes. This is because they are created by low viscosity lava that can flow a long way. Shield volcanoes can be created by multiple eruptions over many years, forming broad layers. These can accumulate over time, making them very large indeed. For example, Moana Loa is a shield volcano that rises more than 30,000 feet above its base at the bottom of the ocean. Number 3. Composite Volcanoes Composite volcanoes are also known as stratovolcanoes. Composite volcanoes are reasonably big and can rise up 8,000 to 10,000 feet. They can also range anywhere from 1 to 10 kilometers in diameter. Their eruptions are dangerous and explosive. The pyroclastic materials and gases can reach temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius and can travel 450 miles per hour, killing any living organism in its path. The most famous example of this was the city of Pompeii in Roman times. Composite volcanoes get their symmetrical shape from the accumulation of explosive matter and viscous lava flows over time and multiple eruptions. This is in contrast to shield volcanoes, which are very broad and wide because their lava is not very viscous. Multiple channels to the surface can open up in a composite volcano, which can affect its shape. Composite volcanoes are some of the most beautiful mountains on the planet, for example, Mount Fuji in Japan. The last type of volcano we shall look at are lava domes. Lava domes are significantly smaller in stature. They are formed when lava is too viscous to flow far, as the lava dome slowly grows, the outer surface cools and hardens as the lava continues to pile up within. Eventually the pressure inside shatters the outer surface, causing loose fragments to spill down the side. Lava domes can be found on the side of larger composite volcanoes. It is important to remember when reviewing this topic that stratovolcanoes have very viscous lava and the lava cannot flow far. In contrast to the shield volcano, which has low viscosity lava, which means the lava can flow a great distance, making the volcano very wide with not very steep sides. In addition to the four main types of volcano, there are three states volcanoes can be in, extinct, dormant, and active. Extinct volcanoes are volcanoes that will never erupt again. For example, Ben Nevis, which is the tallest mountain in Scotland. Dormant volcanoes have been in a state of sleep or dormancy for a very long time, usually at least 2,000 years. However, dormant volcanoes are still not extinct, hence they might erupt at any time. An example of a dormant volcano is Sakurajima in Japan. Active volcanoes are considered an immediate threat. Lava and gases may erupt from these volcanoes at any time, and an active volcano may have erupted recently or it is at risk of erupting again. The best example of this is Moana Loa, Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment down below.